Hello Fragrance Remix Lab subscribers. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting and informative video lined up for you. We'll be diving deep into the world of fixatives and their crucial role in creating impressions or cloning designer brand perfumes using inspired pure perfume oils. In this video, you'll learn why proper fixative use is essential, how to evaluate and replicate designer fragrances through a step-by-step -step guide, and discover expert tips on choosing the right fixatives for different notes and accords. By the end, you'll be equipped with the knowledge and skills to create high-quality perfume clones that not only smell amazing but also last longer. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced perfumer, this guide will help you elevate your craft. So, let's get started and uncover the secrets to mastering the art of perfume cloning. This topic is vital for anyone looking to master the art of perfume replication. Importance of proper fixative use. Avoid blind usage. First and foremost, it is important to avoid using fixatives blindly. We have observed that some individuals simply take inspired pure perfume oils and mix them with ethanol. This practice isn't advisable and contradicts the principles of proper perfume making or cloning perfumes. Using fixatives without understanding their impact can lead to a poorly balanced fragrance that doesn't capture the essence of the original perfume. Understanding the role of fixatives. Fixatives play a crucial role in perfume making by stabilizing the fragrance and prolonging its longevity. They help to slow down the evaporation of the more volatile components, ensuring that the scent lasts longer on the skin. Without proper fixatives, your perfume might evaporate quickly, losing its complexity and depth. Evaluating the original perfume. Understanding notes. Before you start cloning a perfume, it is crucial to thoroughly evaluate the original fragrance. Perfumes are composed of different notes that unfold over time. Top notes, these are the initial scents that are perceived immediately upon application. They are usually light and fresh but evaporate quickly. Middle notes, heart notes, these form the core of the fragrance and emerge once the top notes fade. They are more mellow and rounded. Base notes, these are the final notes that appear once the perfume has fully settled. They are rich, deep, and long-lasting, forming the foundation of the fragrance. Understanding these notes helps you determine which fixatives are suitable for the perfume you are creating. Each layer of the fragrance requires careful consideration to replicate the original scent accurately. Case example, musk in base notes. For instance, if the original designer perfume has musk in its base notes, you might include a fixative like galaxylide. Galaxylide is a synthetic musk that enhances the longevity of the musky base notes, ensuring that your cloned perfume retains the depth and persistence of the original scent. Evaluating other ingredients. Apart from musk, you might encounter various other base notes like vanilla, amber, woods, and resins. Each of these components interacts differently with fixatives. For example, if the base note is amber, you might use benzoin or labdanum as fixatives to enhance the resinous and warm characteristics of the perfume. Aligning fixatives with notes. Base notes are key. Using fixatives should always align with the notes, particularly the base notes, of the designer brand perfumes. The base notes are typically the longest lasting part of a fragrance, so choosing the right fixatives is crucial for creating a well-rounded and enduring perfume. Here are some common base notes and suitable fixatives. Woody notes such as sandalwood, cedarwood use fixatives like ISO A super or whatever to enhance the woody aroma. Gourmand notes such as vanilla, tonka bean. Use fixatives like ethyl vanillin or comarine to add sweetness and warmth. Oriental notes such as amber, resins use fixatives like labdanum or benzoin to deepen the richness. Harmonizing with middle and top notes. While base notes are critical, harmonizing the fixatives with middle and top notes is also important. For example, if your fragrance has a floral heart, you might use Aurora Jasmine Absolute to fix the floral bouquet, ensuring it lasts longer and transitions smoothly from the top to the base notes. Analyzing the Accord Understanding the overall fragrance In addition to evaluating the notes, it is essential to analyze the overall accord of the perfume. The accord is the harmonious blend of different notes that creates the unique character of a fragrance. Understanding the accord involves recognizing the dominant notes and how they interact with each other. Case example, Citrus Accord. 
For a fragrance with a citrus accord, you might find that the top notes are dominated by lemon, bergamot, and orange. These are volatile and evaporate quickly. To clone such a fragrance effectively, you might use fixatives like oak moss or patchouli in the base to provide a grounding effect and prolong the fresh citrus scent. Complementary fixatives. Identifying complementary fixatives that enhance the overall accord is crucial. For example, if the perfume has a green and fresh accord, you might use galbanum or violet leaf absolute as fixatives to maintain the green freshness throughout the fragrance's life cycle. Using online resources. Fragranticker.com. For a comprehensive analysis of perfumes, you can refer to websites like Fragranticker.com. This website provides detailed information about various perfumes, including their notes, accords, and user reviews. Here's how you can use it effectively. Search for the perfume, enter the name of the perfume you want to clone. Analyze the notes, look at the top, middle, and base notes listed on the page. Read user reviews, understand how the perfume evolves on different individuals. Check similar perfumes, explore similar fragrances to get an idea of common fixatives used in those scent families. Practical steps for cloning a perfume. Step-by-step -step guide. Identify the original perfume, choose the designer perfume you want to clone. Evaluate the notes, use resources like Fragrantica to list down the top, middle, and base notes. Select your ingredients, gather the inspired pure perfume oils corresponding to the notes. Choose suitable fixatives, based on your evaluation, select fixatives that match the base notes and overall accord. Create a test blend. Mix the oils and fixatives in small quantities to test the fragrance. Adjust proportions. Fine-tune the proportions based on the initial test results. Finalize the formula. Once satisfied, scale up the formula for larger batches. By taking these steps and understanding the intricacies of fixatives and notes, you can ensure that your cloned perfumes not only smell great but also have the lasting power and depth of the originals. Remember, the key to successful perfume making lies in meticulous evaluation and the thoughtful use of fixatives. Thank you for watching, and happy blending! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fragrance tips and tutorials. Stay tuned for more in-depth guides and happy scent crafting. Thank you for joining us today on Fragrance Remix Lab. We hope you found this deep dive into the use of fixatives in perfume cloning informative and helpful. By understanding and applying these principles, you can create impressive and long-lasting fragrances that truly capture the essence of your favorite designer perfumes. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us create more valuable content for you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. We have many more exciting tutorials and tips coming your way, including detailed guides on different perfume notes, DIY projects, and insider secrets to perfecting your own fragrances. Also, share this video with your friends and fellow fragrance enthusiasts. Let's build a community of passionate perfume makers together. Feel free to leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below. We love hearing from you and are always here to help with your perfume making journey. Thank you for watching, and as always, happy blending!